good morning one and all today we will solve the some numericals on the simple stresses and strains first we will say the problem statement find the minimum diameter of the steel wire okay we want to the find out the diameter which is used to raise a load of 4000 newton load is given p is equal to 4000 newton if the stress in the rod is not to exceed 95 mega newton per meter square okay stress is given 95 mega newton per meter square okay stress is given what we want to the find out uh, d diameter of the given wire d is equal to how much p is given sigma is given sigma is given in 95 mega newton per meter square we know the relation m is equal to mega is equal to 10 raise to 6 okay 10 raise to 6 newton per meter square is equal to 1 newton per mm square we already seen that then we know the area formula area is equal to pi by 4 into d square then we know the stress formula stress is equal to p by a force upon area force is given and sigma is given then only one constant is area again what is the area pi by 4 into d square put this value in that equation then you will get the value of d is equal to 7.32 mm okay then next we will see the next one see the next one what is the given data see first uh, a tensile test was conducted on mild steel bar okay one mild steel bar uh, have given they conducted the tensile test the following data was obtained from the test first diameter of the steel bar they have given the 3 cm diameter of the steel bar gauge length of the bar 20 cm gauge length is nothing but the total length of the bar is given okay total length is a 20 cm load at elastic limit is equal to 250 kN extension at the load of 150 kN uh, extension when you applying the 250 kN load then see 150 kN load then you will get the extension 0.21 mm this delta l value is given maximum load this uh, p max value is given 380 kN and total extension when you applying this 380 kN load then we will get the total extension is a 60 mm and what we want to the find out first we want to the find out the diameter of the rod at the failure okay diameter of the rod at the failure this value is given 2.25 cm then determine angst modulus okay is nothing but the modulus of elasticity we want to the calculate the e value then stress at elastic limit okay stress at elastic limit we want to the calculate the sigma for the uh, at elastic limit then percentage elongation we want to the calculate the percentage elongation how much percent this will be elongated when you applying the maximum load on the given bar then percentage decrease in area when you applying the same load then how much percent this area will be decrease we will see one by one all of you getting what is given in and what we want to the find out first uh, we want to the find out the young's modulus right young's modulus then how to find out that young's modulus we know that uh, this young's modulus is nothing but it is the ratio of stress to strain right that's why we want to the calculate the stress first again how to calculate the stress we know that the force upon area force is given but we want to the calculate the area because diameter of the steel bar is given 3 cm then first we will calculate the area i will write here answer area is denoted by i will write area of the rod is denoted by capital a a is equal to pi by 4 into d square what is the d square again i will put here pi by 4 into d square means what 3 square this 3 value is given in centimeter how to convert into the centimeter into meter how to convert centimeter into meter see 
therefore centimeter square is equal to we know that that relation this relation 100 1 by 100 m meter square is there okay remember that relation this is very important when you solving the numerical centimeter square is equal to 1 divided by 100 meter bracket square okay then we'll get that uh, first i have calculated in centimeter we will get 7.0685 centimeter square if you have convert into the meter square then again he, this i will write the 10 raised to 2 okay if you have this value in numerator then you will get the minus 2 in 10 raised to minus 2 plus 10 raised to minus 2 you will get the 10 raised to minus 4 when you calculated in meter square then we'll, i will write here 2.685 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square when you uh, calculated centimeter to meter then divided by 100 divided by 100 the uh, given value okay then next we want to the find out what Young's modulus how to calculate the Young's modulus Young's modulus is denoted by what Young's modulus it is also known as what modulus of elasticity is denoted by capital E capital E is equal to stress upon strain is there ok stress upon strain is there we will calculate one by one what is the stress again stress is equal to P by A what is the force or load is given load is given at the elastic limit 150 uh, sorry load is given at the elongation at the load of 150 kilonewton okay that load you have to use 150 into what 150 kilonewton is there that's why what is the relation kilonewton and newton 1 kilonewton is equal to 1000 newton 1000 newton okay that's why 150 into 1000 divided by what is the area we have calculated 7.0685 into 10 raised to minus 4 then you will get this value in what newton per mm square this value we will get sigma is equal to 2122.09 into 10 raised to 4 i have kept as it is newton per meter square this is the stress this is the stress then how to calculate the strain how to calculate the strain we will see how to calculate the strain then strain is denoted by the small e we know that small e is equal to increase in length or we can say the extension okay divided by the original length or it is also called as a gauge length extension length is given 0.21 mm and this will given the gauge length of the bar is given 20 centimeter okay i will convert into mm you know the relation 20 into 10 then we will get the both value in mm then you will get the extension 0 0.00105 okay this strain is a unitless then you can calculate e is equal to sigma upon e is equal to again what is the value of sigma 2122.09 into 10 raised to 4 this is the stress value divided by strain 0 0.00105 this is the strain then you will get the Young's modulus 2020952323 into 10 raised to 4 as it is what is the unit of that we have kept this is in meter that's why you will get in newton per meter square newton per meter square this is the Young's modulus value okay again if you want to the convert this value into the giga newton or newton per mm square then also you can convert you will get e is equal to check that i will write 202.0952 okay this five digit okay 202 after that one two three four five digit 
and this 10 raised to 4 means you will get the 10 raised to 9 10 raised to 9 means what giga giga newton per meter square this is your answer okay if you want to the calculate giga or if you want to the calculate mega then you can calculate easily with the help of that relation with the help of that relation okay then next uh, next what we want to the calculate the stress at elastic limit the stress at elastic limit what is the stress at elastic limit how to calculate that stress at elastic limit okay this stress at elastic limit is given 250 250 we know the stress formula i will write here second stress at elastic limit stress at elastic limit okay stress at elastic limit again same formula sigma is equal to see the load at elastic limit what is the load at elastic limit 250 is given okay 250 kilo newton is given i will convert into the newton 250 into 1000 divided by what is the area again area is same 7.0685 into 10 raised to minus 4 if you have calculate this then you will get see 3 5 3.68 into 10 raised to 6 this is in newton per meter square again 10 raised to 6 means what we can write 10 raised to 6 is equal to see 10 raised to 6 is equal to mega or mega means m is there then you will get the stress at the elastic limit is 3 5 3.68 mega newton per meter square mega newton per meter square this is the stress at the elastic limit then next third number what we want to the calculate third number the percentage elongation is obtained how to calculate the percentage elongation how to calculate the percentage elongation okay we have seen the percentage elongation is equal to the you have to check the total increase in length total increase in length okay remember that formula total increase length divided by original length or it is also called as a gauge length original length or it is also called as a gauge length we want to the answer in percentage that's why multiply by 100 multiply by 100 then put the value total increase in length they have given the 60 mm right 60 mm and what is the original length they have given the 20 centimeter since 20 into 10 you will get in mm into 100 again you will get the answer is a 30 percent if you have calculate then you will get the answer in 30 percentage okay similar way last is a you have to calculate the percentage decrease in area percentage decrease in area here is a total increase in length uh, see percentage elongation huh? we have calculate and fourth we want to the calculate the percentage decrease in area how to calculate you know the formula percentage decrease in area we know the original area okay original area before applying the load we have that area minus area at the time of the failure right area at failure okay we know that area divided by again what divided by again original area original area and we want to the answer in percentage that's why into 100 remember that how to calculate the percentage decrease in area original area minus area at the failure divided by original area into 100 and put the value so that that area pi by 4 into see this value is given centimeter 3 square pi by 4 into 3 square and here is a pi by 4 area at failure check that 2.25 square is there pi by 4 into 2.25 square is there both value are given in 
centimeter that's why i have kept as it is not convert into mm into 100 okay then you will get that value is when you calculate check that you will get the 43.75 percent this is the percentage area in the reduction okay all of you getting this type of question will ask for the six mark on the simple stresses and strain today we'll stop here next lecture also we'll see the next bit thank you